Hi guys, welcome to my tarot reading. So the first card that comes up is the Ace of Cups. It's good beginning, new beginning, a positive, happier moment. The spring is here, a better mood, things will start changing. It's new, it was new moon yesterday as well. So there is a new energy comes into the system which we've been waiting for for a long time. And probably you were the same, uh, you found the last couple of weeks difficult, challenging, mentally, emotionally, physically, in, in every way. So now the cards are saying that, you know what, we're going out of this difficult curve and now we start building up again, how the energy comes into the, um, uh, to the atmosphere, there will be expansion and this is what we want. So no longer the drips and drops coming into the, the we want the whole ocean, we want to have everything and i think we have now the opportunity to have everything so it's up to us how we're going to manage it so our um, emotional we will be fulfilled so that's a good news and there is a land that what we wanted to uh, reach to is right there well it was in um, out there in a place where we thought oh it's too far it's just we can only dream about it now we can actually go and reach it and and um, and and explore it so this new opportunity will come and will make you happy um, and it's not just make you happy in an emotional level but it seems like it's gonna create uh, that extra for you that you've been waiting for because the next card is a ten of pentacles this card is all about achievement it's about legacy it's all about that scenario when you your plan worked out so you had a plan what you want to achieve in life which direction you want to take how you want to see yourself in the future um as as a as a, as a member of uh, your family as a member of uh, society as a member of your uh, or your own own private uh, little group um, you have a chance to create that legacy. So it's not just uh, it's not just about work and about achievement, but this is something more for the future. So finally, you achieve what you wanted to achieve and you wanted to go for, and for a long period of time. So you leave a legacy, and that is not just good; it is super good, and. Seven of Wands will show you that you will be celebrated for what you have achieved. So these cards together now developing a picture that shows like, well, you know, you were on the right track. And of course, that is true that you can only connect the dots backward. But now you finally able, you will be able to connect the dots because you reached that place that uh, position, that scenario that you always um, wanted to achieve and, and, and uh, work out. So, so these are the good news that showing you the development, the growth that you've been going through. So now let's see the challenge. So let's accept the fact that everything is going on the right way. So now let's see what um, you need to focus on to make that everlasting make that as a, um, a future proof concept um, because up to now you were you were driven by your heart and uh, by your emotions and everything is great but then now the, the challenge is how to keep that is growing and with the with the page of swords and the um, knight of uh, wands there are two opposite cards one is very mentally driven and pretty sure about him or herself, um, pretty solid. Uh, however, he's had a bit above the cloud. So he thinks a bit like, well, you know, I know best. And then you have here the Knight of uh, Wands who is very passionate, very much, um, uh, very fiery, driven by the, by the activities, driven by uh, the physical manifestation of uh, uh, achievement. So now you have to blend these two. So uh, going for what you want, so carry on building 
that legacy, what you want and what you always wanted to achieve. But be smart and be passionate, be, um, be that fiery person because your enthusiasm will be more important uh, to get to the next stage. So calculation is great, but the enthusiasm that the Knight of Wands have will take you through to the next level. Because a Page of Swords uh, can be lazy, can be um, a person who thinks like, well, I know best. Why should I work more if I'm the, I'm, I'm the, the brightest uh, tool in the, in, the, in the toolbox? So that could be... Uh, that could potentially be uh, backfiring you if you are not um, looking things at holistically and you don't have the passion anymore. You just want to sit back and you say, well, I'm the brightest person. I don't need to do the work anymore because, because it's just my privilege to be smart. Well, the thing is, um, it's a never-ending story. You have to keep working. You have to keep grinding. You have to go keep going for what you uh, what you want and you see like this is the the victory well you have to get on a horse to get that victory you can have the victory but you have to stay on a horse and improve further if you don't do it then you might be celebrated today but you might be forgotten tomorrow uh, let's see what the oracle cards wants to tell us so release the burden release the negativity and release that uh, uh, thought that nothing is going to work out if you are not the one in charge. So that's again thinking of, well, I'm the smartest. Without me, nothing, nothing will work. Well, release that thought, release that burden and free, freedom, free yourself from all these um, um, very narrow thinking. Because you see the bird's eye, these birds is up there in the sky, can look down and see everything holistically, can see everything objectively. But if you are like holding on to your thoughts, a single one that you are the best and you know the best and you know what's the best for, for uh, everyone, then um, you might not see the, the full picture. And um, finding the path while returning to joy. So again, if you are in your head and you, you only look at the one possible or single way to cut through everything and access um, the result, you might be alone at the end. You might just stay single, individual at the end on a pile of um, um, uh, volume or worth, but who are you going to share it? So, um, return to joy. So you want to have the actual um, method, the, the, the journey you want to enjoy. So come back to joy, come back to this passion that, that is not just the result I'm going for. I want to enjoy the whole journey. And if I trust that my journey, wherever I am in that journey, step one or step 25 or step 300 will lead me to the success and the legacy I wanted to re reach with ten of, pen ten of pentacles, then I can enjoy the ride because, because I don't have anything to lose. I know I will end up there. So um, I wish you a great week and I hope um, you find some value in here and uh, come back anytime and please comment below how did you enjoy and um, I hope it was productive for you and have a fantastic weekend.